an update. It's midnight. We got to the airport because it would be done to get a hotel room for three hours, and uh, the uh, security check is closed. So we're sitting here outside of it waiting. We dropped the car off. Mm -hmm. All that went smoothly. We checked in. There was no one at the kiosks, so we auto checked in. Like, it's like self. Anyway, all of the checkpoints are closed, so we can't get on that side of the gate. It's literally right there. Like, if we could just get there, there's probably, you know, a coffee shop or something. But there's zero accommodations where we are. I can't even get in the bathroom right now. So, um,. We'll see what happens. So we just learned that we can't get through the TSA checkpoint until 3.30. This was poor planning on our part, because that means that we have... No, there's nothing better we could have done. But, I mean, yeah, it's not like we're going to pay for a hotel room for three and a half hours. It's not like we're going to go clubbing for three and a half hours. <laughs> it's not like we're going to go drinking for three and a half hours. I would have drank sweet tea for three and a half hours. Three and a half hours? Yes. Is it taking a three hour flight? So now we're just looking for a quiet place. Stay tuned. So. Oh. As yeah. promised, this is our coffee talk. We found a quiet spot. We finally we can't found get a quiet spot. The thing. Right. So, yeah, I was gonna show you, but you don't need that. So. Yeah, this is peppy me, because it's. <laughs> this is peppy you after two days of traveling and. No, just because it's so late. Oh. This but in the morning, so I late. Look, it's, it's like. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. At home. That's Oregon my bedtime. Time. Right. Okay. Question number one. <laughs> uh, most people were curious where where did we go? You wanna you wanna tell them? We went to Texas. We went to Texas. Uh, my grandmother passed away on Tuesday, and so we came here to join friends and family in celebration of her life. Um, it was a lovely service. We had a great time with cousins afterwards, and got a chance to talk with my uncle and and my other uncle and my aunt and. Uh, just kind of touch base with a lot of family members that we don't get to see very often. As always, unfortunate the circumstances, but at the same time, good to see everybody. Did this one, this one kind of like, it was a little different than other ones. It's the ending yeah. of an era. Uh, right. What did you call it earlier? The end of an era? era? Era. End of a generation. Yeah. The last grandparent. Right. And so, while, while there are sisters and brothers and stuff in that generation, this was my last living grandparent. And so, it just was, was much different than... Um, in times past so mm -hmm. nice to see family but again sad circumstances but being in Texas is always good like mm -hmm. it's awesome we're in Austin now right we're in Austin waiting for the TSA checkpoint to open mm -hmm. the service was in Dallas the, yeah flew in Austin drove to Dallas for some weird reason plane tickets from Portland to Austin are much cheaper than Portland to Dallas so we rented a car and drove three hours both ways because why not? Because why not? All right, question number two. Uh, Nina, I think you should feel this one. Do you think the Sour Patch Kids cereal will be any good? Sour Patch Kids cereal? Yeah. That's not a cereal. Did you know that's a thing? Mm -mm. Like it's a thing that they made. No. Right. It's Sour Patch Kids flavored crunchy puffs. When I think of Sour Patch Kids, I think of PJ Masks. Because Aiden uh. and Ariana call it that. And I think of a very very bad candy right it's not I can't cereal, it's candy. I can't imagine sourness and milk put together without curdling the milk and yeah. so either it won't be sour and the milk won't curdle or it will be sour and the milk will curdle and it'll be disgusting either or way. it won't curdle because it's extremely and totally fake right and it doesn't even matter because it's nothing ugh, it's ultimately this disgusting. is a ploy ultimately this is a ploy by the dental health Industry. Industry to get kids into dentists with cavities sooner. Oh, gosh. Next question. Um, what's a good entry coffee for a non-coffee liker? Okay, look. If you don't like coffee... Chai tea. Nina says chai tea. If you, if you don't like coffee but you want to like coffee, I would recommend uh, Starbucks flat white. Well, it doesn't have to be Starbucks, but a flat white with vanilla. So... A flat white is made with ristretto shots. It's made with whole milk, so it's creamier and more decadent. Um, and then ristretto shots are inherently sweeter. So you still have the coffee, but you don't have you have much less bitterness. So 
it's a very smooth very like satisfying cup try that and you can do it with alternative milks if you don't like dairy or can't handle dairy i like it with uh coconut milk personally okay try that one. flat white vanilla um okay next question what's your favorite movie to watch with your spouse or and and or or and what or. movie have you ever watched just to be nice to your spouse boondock saints there was a whole slew of movies when we got married and were Twist dating. Just lemon, sweet and low. Stop! Look, okay, I'm sorry. There's a whole slew of movies that I forced Nina to watch because they were quote good movies. We um, have to see these if we're going to be married. And they're still like I still maintain that they were cinematic. They were of high cinematic quality. But my core values now, I'm like mm, I wouldn't subject people to watch those films. <laughs> so. Um, the the list the answer to that list is very long. I think our favorite movie to watch together though is probably anything with Kevin Costner. Mm-hmm. Uh, JFK we watch on an annual basis. Um, Robin Hood we watch on an annual basis. Mm-hmm. And there's not a Disney mm-hmm. there's not a Disney movie that we yeah, don't Disney. enjoy watching. Is that anything else? TV shows Once Upon a Time. Right. We need to start that one again. Yeah. That's pretty great. There's a lot. This is kind of a hard question to answer succinctly. This might be a 10-part answer, but that's part one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, The next question was, uh, what is your favorite Starbucks roast? For me, it's Guatemala Antigua. For For me, it's no coffee because I'm allergic to caffeine. So, chai for her. Chai. Um, the next one do electric dim- instruments diminish musicality no um, I think they can if you have the mentality that they can diminish musicality I think even electric instruments can be used with a worshipful heart and produce fantastic sound quality based on the heart of musician not just the inherent like escalation of excellence or reduction of goodness of the musical instrument. Man, you can tell I'm getting tired now. <laughs> if I can't talk anymore, it's over. Look, it... When we think of musicality, though, we think of worship. Right, and so it's not about, it's not about, like, I paid $14,000 for this perfectly crafted artisan instrument. It's like, I grabbed whatever I could find, and I poured my heart into it and raised the hallelujah god blessed it right exactly so no i don't think electro electric instruments diminish the musicality um next question why do we experience time in only one direction does time have a direction look if time is a fourth dimension what dimension do you not experience in only one direction width is always the same depth is always the same Height is always the same. Time is always the same. Follow suit with the other dimensions. Next question. Um, why the grammar... Be- I'm not answering that. Forget it. Um, to what extent do morals affect our actions? I have an answer for this. Do you have an answer for this? Go for it. If morals don't affect your actions, they're not morals. Yeah. That's all there is to it. They're just like cultural pressures or right. something. Or, or they're like... Um, what's it called your when you, are like, what's it, you what's it called on. well yeah but like what's it called when you like have words for something but you don't like they're just they're just words there's words you put I mean they are just words but there's like a there's like a more poignant phrase okay. you could use we're playing that game again guess the word right we're playing that game again guess the word and it's not it's not autonomy they're just words. Rhetoric. rhetoric. They're just rhetoric. If mm-hmm. your morals if your morals don't affect your actions, they're just rhetoric. Mm-hmm. And they don't mean anything. Then they're not your morals. They're just rhetoric. Right. Exactly. Okay. And hopefully rhetoric isn't affecting your actions. Right. And it's actually the moving of the Holy Spirit inside of you, creating a moral set. And right. then you're reacting out of a place of that, not a place of brokenness or rhetoric. Or exactly. Exactly. Like and not responding to emotion, but re- like responding to 
genuine interaction with God and Jesus. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Do you have any questions? For what? For me? For us to answer? Right. No. What questions did you think you'd be answering? Where are we going 12 times? Well, yeah, where are we going 12 times? 14,000 times. Yeah. Anything else? No. You? I, uh, what no. did you think that we were going to be at? I don't know. Like, I thought, I thought it would go pretty much like this. I thought we'd have coffee for a coffee talk, but there's no coffee. coffee. There's no coffee outside the concourse, and so coffee? imaginary coffee talk. Hopefully, we'll have real coffee for the next coffee talk. Mm-hmm. Um, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and hopefully, we'll talk to you again soon. Say bye, Nina. Oh, by the way, bye, this is Nina. Nina.